writing assignments for informational writing are due on Friday. They need to be dropped off at school or scanned. This is just a little review of the writing. An email was sent with the links to each step of your informational writing process. You need to make a list of topics. For example, I chose things that I know about, Mastiffs, Disney World, cooking, sewing. After I made a list of things that I know, I decided to write about just one of those topics and I chose Mastiffs because I've had a lot of Mastiff dogs. After I chose my topic, I needed to make subtopics for Mastiffs. What types of Mastiffs there are, what do they eat, how old do they get, what toys do they play with. I began with an introduction. I started with a hook that would really get the reader wondering, what is my informational report going to be about and what might the reader learn? Do you know a dog that can weigh 200 pounds? You love big furry dogs. You will want to read all about Mastiffs. I took each of my subtopics, types, what they eat, how old they get, and I'm going to make them a chapter in my book. So they are now a subtopic with a paragraph just about the type of Mastiff with a picture. What do Mastiffs eat? with a picture. How old do Mastiffs get? With a picture. I made a closing that summed up what I was writing about, as you can see. All of the different steps. When I take a look here, I have my cover for my book. I have a table of contents, and I'm still working on my table of contents. I need to edit and go back and put in page numbers. I have a page for my introduction. This is a sample of my first chapter. I have a picture that has captions and also has diagrams drawing lines to the different part of the Mastiff. Here's an example of my glossary with important words that you're going to read. Here is an example of an informational report that one of our students made. This informational report is about the Muppets. There is the cover. There is a table of contents. There is chapter one, page one, different characters. Chapter two, chapter three and four and five, all the way to the end of the book that got stapled and will be hung in the hallway. Some examples of writing that other students have done, we have someone writing a cookbook. They, their topic was cooking. And under their subtopics, they were writing about how to make cupcakes, how to make pizza. Some people chose to write about soccer. And under their subtopics, they wrote about the history of soccer, players in soccer, how do you play soccer, and gave us information. So you need to come up with some topics, choose what you know best, write your subtopics, go back and look at all of the videos that were sent in Google Classroom about the writing process, start your rough draft, final draft, create it as a book, and please return to school by Friday, March 5th, 2021.